Is this the way you get a guy to get attracted to you? Is it like a mating call? Pay attention, like, oh, you look nice, or notice when we have our hair done. Like, oh, your lovely hair. They chatted you up, or do you chat them up? Oh, no, I don't chat them up at all. No, you're just blowing me off. And, you know, so that's fine. That's the end of it. Okay, I want him to loving me, obviously, care about me, um, yeah, and I don't want him to pushing me to do anything because I want to do what I want. <laughs> My profile, I'm tall girl, 5'9", five, 5'10". Five, <laughs> everything's kosher, everything's cool. You know, you never know what's going to happen in the future. Capture someone's mind, your looks will get you noticed and it will you know, give you a head start if you're beautiful, but that's it. Yeah. The English girl is a like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. But, but the Swedish girl is like, yeah, we're, we're quite bossy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> In Sweden, equal amounts of women would approach men. Sex, when you want, just a feeling, but... Huh? What do they want? Yeah. What, what do they want? The Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. Yeah. Yeah. Bring that Fresh Prince. Can you sign this card? Oh, oh, please, mate. Yeah. Rain! Uh, no! Uh, what do women want from men? What do women want from men? <laughs> <laughs> Plainly didn't say... Oh. Not you, bruv. <laughs> Egyptian girls, I find them very warm, very passionate. Good old Brit girl, um, because they always leave you with a smile on your face and an empty wallet. I'd say, no, you don't necessarily have to pay for everything. Can you do that? No. So it's very important that you've got, you've got a good job. It's also slightly more difficult to tell if Englishmen are gay or not. Um,